Come on. Come on. You're kidding me. Nicely, we're uh, getting the TV put together here. Um, I wanted to show you this real quick. So there's your rolling mechanism. There's your gears inside the TV. This is kind of the inner portion of the TV here. And I just wanted to show you how this works. So you crank the TV here, which is what revolves the screen. You can see all the gears moving. And this is a really nice touch I don't know if you can see that right there, but it actually, if you listen carefully, it kind of gives you a little bit of a noise to add to the effect. So just really cool, really uh, nice design work on the inside of the TV here. So we'll keep building this thing out and uh, get a finished product. quick just wanted to show you this briefly um, this is actually the piece that is going to have the Super Mario screen built onto it and you can kind of see how this just kind of revolves um, when you turn the crank on the exterior of the TV this is actually what's going to move somewhat repetitive just a lot of the same built over and over again on this portion of the build um, but still really unique and then right now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually just go ahead and build uh, the Super Mario screen onto this piece right here. Super Mario screen. Lots of little detail. True to Super Mario. Lots of little jumps. Mushrooms to squish. Really cool. So that's the screen and then you can see how that's gonna revolve. Almost done. Completed the build. This is your finished 
uh, Nintendo NES with Vintage TV. There's your Super Mario cartridge. There's your controller. Uh, really fun build. What I'll do is I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer and uh, I'll show you some of the fine details of the set here. So I wanna show you some of the details here um, of the system. So first I've got the actual console itself. I wanna point out all the t printed tiles. Really impressed with the printed tiles. You've got the Nintendo Enter Entertainment System printed on the front, power button, reset button. I'll try to bring those up a little bit closer for you to be able to see here, power and reset. Um, you've got your uh, light that shows the systems on. You've got your lid that will open up, and that's where you'll put the gaming cartridge in. You've got your plugins for the controllers, one and two slot. Then over here, you've got your audio video on the side. Another plug in the back there. I'm really not sure what that one's for. Maybe some of you can enlighten me. Enlighten me. Put that in the comments if you know what that one's for. And then nothing on really on that side. Nothing much to see on the bottom there. Just some different plates used for the base. Um, so that's the actual console itself. There's really actually only three stickers total in the entire um, build, which is awesome. All the other pieces, which there's quite a few of them, are all printed. Um, here is your actual Super Mario cartridge. Now those are the two of the three stickers that you're gonna get. This right here, and then the second sticker right at the bottom here. Cartridge is really cool. Um, very uh, real to the original cartridge. And you can see it's maybe a little bit thinner. There's the back. Again, just some um, plates. Um, but really, really cool design work on the Super Mario cartridge. And I'll show you this. So if we take our system here and then we actually put it in, clip it down just like you would playing the original Nintendo NES, press it down, pull it out, and put in whatever next game you're gonna play. So really cool, to, really cool uh, that they added that into the actual console itself. And then I'll show you the controller. So here is your controller, life size. So pretty much exactly the same size as the original NES controllers. You can see the uh, back there as well. The cord comes out of the top. You've got your little plug in. And then that will actually attach right into one or two slot, whichever you prefer. And you're ready for some gaming. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna slide this over to the side here and we will show you the TV, which is awesome. So we'll bring that into, into the picture here. So there is your TV. So you've got your Super Mario game going on right on the screen there. You've got some of your knobs, your brightness, uh, different things there, on and off switch, UHF to VHF. Um, this is cool, you can change the channel and actually in the TV itself, they added somewhat of a little bit of a sound to where when you turn the knob, you get that clicking noise, which is cool. Again, not only are you seeing everything and it looks really good, but they also add in the small details to where you get the little sounds uh, throughout the, the system. And then I'll flip this around nothing much to see on the sides um, but the back is pretty cool so there is your antenna that can clip up and down clip onto the back of the tv this is your third sticker right here so this is actually the serial number model number etc for the tv itself i'll take this back plate off for you and you can actually see some of the inner workings of the tv um, and then just some different plugs power plugs whatnot on the back here um, for the uh, for the TV itself and then on the side which I showed you a little bit earlier in the video there is your revolving mechanism so we'll spin this around and I'll show you that in action here now so I'm gonna spin that and there goes Mario hitting a turtle jumping on a turtle going over the top mushroom coming up here we've got a coin just everything you would expect from playing a good game of Mario all in the TV set. So really 
cool stuff. That's the, the only kind of repetitive part is the building of the screen. Um, you, it's a lot of the same over and over again, but for the most part on the entire build, um, it's new and different and you're building different pieces, but when you get to the screen, it's a lot of the same over and over again. So, but other than that, I loved the build. It was awesome, really nostalgic, brought me right back to my childhood. Hopefully, you know, if you get to build the set and you did play this, uh, console in this game in specifics when you were younger it'll do the same for you uh, but really enjoyed the build again you're gonna this is gonna run you right around two hundred and thirty dollars um, it's just a little over two thousand six hundred pieces um, so it's a big build it's gonna take some time but it's a great display piece once it's all said and done that's it for this video we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it if you did give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you are notified first every time we come out with a brand new video. You won't regret it. We've got some great content coming out in a few weeks. Um, either way, that's a wrap. We'll see you next time. Later.